Day five of the Inktober challenge. Hey. Don't do that. Don't do that. I went to grab myself a decaf, almost finished with it. In Munich, I've only found decaf at Starbucks so far, so that's why I keep going to Starbucks. Not my favorite cafe, not my favorite coffee, but that is why I keep drinking Starbucks, just FYI. This is not an ad for Starbucks by any means. I'm about to head back, I got some other stuff to do first, and then I will be working on today's prompt, which, if I remember correctly, I think is a flame, I think. It was a flame or a match, I have to confirm in a little bit. Autumn is making itself known. I was right, today's prompt is a flame. Five. Ta-da! We have only so many to go. We start with the outlines and she's complete, so now we are going to Go in with some ink. We're using the larger brush first just to cover up as much surface as possible so that I don't feel as intimidated when I look at all that white space. Even though today's prompt is a relatively easy, anyone can draw a flame even if it's just a line outline of a flame. So I wanted to make it a little bit more challenging or interesting at least because if I'm going to spend my time on something, I need to be excited about it. And since I really rarely draw anything pretty or pretty girls, I thought I would combine the two. I'm becoming far more efficient with my time management for these drawings. I'm also just becoming way more comfortable with the medium. Every single day, I feel more comfortable. If you look back at my previous videos for the challenges the last couple of days, you can probably notice a, notice a noticeable improvement. If you do, let me know in the comments below. I personally feel like it's an objective observation, but I'd still love to know what you think. Practice makes better, guys. I wouldn't say perfect because nobody's perfect and you can never really be perfect. If we were perfect, then life would be so boring and we would have nothing to strive towards. But when it comes to art, it really is all about the time that you put into the craft. You got to keep doing something over and over and over, spend a lot of hours, a lot of hours to improve your skills and craft. I don't know if the cliche saying 10,000 hours to master a craft or a skill is true, but doesn't sound far from it personally from my experience. I didn't even do it on purpose. I just kind of have always been obsessed with drawing. It helps me breathe, makes me feel balanced and helps me deal with life struggles. So to me, it's just been a bit like talking or breathing and very necessary in my life. So I think I accidentally hid probably 10,000 without even realizing it. So I have no idea how many hours I've spent on the craft by now. I'm not counting, but basically bottom line, stop giving yourself excuses for why you're not good at something and just go and do whatever it is that you want to do. And the more time you spend doing that thing and taking action on the things that you want to do, the better you become at it. It's really that simple. It's not some secret magic, Thing. It's a very tangible, practical formula that is almost boring when you think about it, but it works every time. So just keep at it and you'll improve. On that note, if you are also participating in the Inktober challenge this month, then tag me on your social medias or send it to me, DM it to me. I'd love to see the work that you're coming up with for these really odd but interesting but kind of simple and weird and open to interpretation prompts. I am addicted to improvement, I swear. So every time I see improvements in my skills, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it is so satisfying, so satisfactory, that it just makes me want to keep doing it and keep seeing the improvements. It's very motivating. If you relate, let me know in the comments below as well. 
And also, if you did watch my previous videos, please let me know which prompt you have enjoyed the most so far, my, inter my interpretation, and also maybe the prompt, because truly, truly, the prompts have been quite weird. So, yeah, we are actually done. So now, yeah, I'm just signing my name. That is always the last step. Sometimes I add a little bit of final touches in the end. She is finished and I can definitely see the improvements. Wow, like I did this yesterday and I already was like, whoa, I'm improving so much with the medium. And this was the day before, the day previous to that and the first day of the challenge. Can you see the evolution or what? I'm just gonna keep this really short and the videos will continue to be short because I'm doing this every day. So if you're interested in seeing what I create for the rest of the prompts for Inktober, definitely just subscribe to my channel and follow this playlist. I'm making a video every single day. You can also see shorter videos on my TikTok and Instagram, which is just my name, E-I-R-D-I-S. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.